Hi everybody, this is the Make Code Arcade Advanced Stream. I'm with your host, Vivian. I'm Vivian at Lift Turf on the Make Code Forum. Um, <laughs> and that's it. Today it's a solo stream, but it's okay. It's not actually solo because it's me and you, chat. <laughs> so yes, first solo stream. Let's see how it goes. I know, right? Everybody else had a drop today. Except Richard did offer to stay. But I think everybody has stuff to do. So we'll, we'll be okay. We'll have a good time, chat, and we'll tell everybody how fun it was to be to be on stream today. Hi, Dad, lol. <laughs> okay, so let me let me tell you guys my two ideas that I thought of um, before this. And you can tell me which one you're more interested in working with me on. My first idea is, have you guys played Minecraft? <laughs> Um, so in Minecraft, you can make a map item and then you carry your map around and it, okay, I like that you guys see this. Um, you carry your map around and it fills in as you like explore more of the world. So my first idea is Minecraft map. <laughs> um, it wouldn't be first person perspective. It'd probably be like top down walking around. Um, that's idea number one. And then idea number two, <laughs> which might be harder and and i didn't think through it as much it is um um software engineering simulator <laughs> so like okay the concept is you are a software engineer and you have to review prs and then but you have to like do it kind of quickly you know so you'll get prs on your desk and you'll have to decide you know accept or like reject and you have to look for like soft, like, you know, code bugs, like, <laughs> and then you'd want to do as many as you can. Um, those are my two concepts. The second one might be harder and might be stupider. The first one um, isn't a game. <laughs> so let me know your preferences. Also, it's super weird not hearing people talk back at me. It's really quiet in this room. Also, Joey is in chat, but not on stream <laughs> in the meantime i'll start working on map simulator <laughs> hi joey map sim why make an ocean game where you have to go down and if you get hit by a shark or a skid you lose or you go up and save yourself Hmm. Okay, so is the goal to go down as fast as possible? Diver. Let's do that. Game of wits! Ah! <laughs> That's cute. I, I like this idea because I really want to draw a diver. I'll have like a diving look. Arms up. Woo. <laughs> Make a sub that he can click buttons on. Mm. Okay, we'll make some kind of diving game. And maybe you're trying to collect stuff, but diving is a dangerous activity. So there are risks. And you need to balance risks with a sense of adventure and success. I really just want to draw a diver. <laughs> I can make art. Excellent. Okay, so what should we, what should our diver be trying to explore? That's question number one. Are we trying to map the ocean floor? Are we trying to find different kinds of fish? Are we putting things down, taking things away? No, discover ocean creatures that have only been seen once. Ooh, okay. Yes, give me ocean creatures. And we will, oh, maybe we'll have like a beeper that'll be like, you know, like hot and cold. And it'll tell you if you're close to like a new ocean creature that you've never seen before, which will tempt you to stay underwater longer when, than you should be um, because you want to have successful discoveries. But then you might be tempting fate with your oxygen or maybe a shark. Discover, oh yeah, okay. 
In the meantime, I'm going to finish working on my diver. Cool. Is the helmet too squashed? We can say it's ocean pressure <laughs> pushing down on pushing down on you. Cool. And then let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's bring in status bars. The mega mouth shark. I don't know that much about the ocean, so you guys will have to fill me in. Yeah, make me a sub, Gideon. Can I give you a size? I want it to be kind of big. Not 160 big, but maybe like 130 by 70 let's see how big this is huh don't don't do this yet Ooh, isn't that a good size for a sub do a sub this big and then put a door on here for me so then we can like re-enter it or i don't know how you enter a sub some some kind of some kind of situation okay um so you have the diver and then let's we brought status bars and so what kind of things do you want to sense well, we want the status bar to be like oxygen status. Oxygen status. What size? Oh, yeah, sorry. Um, 130 by 70, please. And then, hmm. Status bar width. Let's make it narrower because that would look cool. And then wider so you can have more like fine grain. What happens if we make it 100? Cool. Can we give it a label? Hmm. Ah, label. Here we go. Oxygen status. We'll na label it air. <laughs> what does this say? Oh, cool. And then let's set the fill to be blue. And then this could be dark purple. Dark purple oxygen status cool and then on game update mm, or do we do a forever and then pause let's do a forever and pause so then we can change the rate that we lose oxygen at maybe if you're like swimming fast you lose more oxygen that'd be interesting thank you joey i breathe air every day joey says good colors for oxygen um okay what are we doing? So we'll set a variable. Whoops. Is diving. And we'll set that to be true. And we'll say if we are diving, then we'll change the status bar value by negative one. Negative one. And this is going to be oxygen status. all right <laughs> cool let's move the status bar to be at the bottom that'd be cool right we'll have all our hud or maybe it should be at the top because we'll be trying to dive down so we want the bottom to be clear let's put it at the top oxygen status x to be 40 i don't know where like the sprite gets positioned okay we'll just wing it is it based on the center? That looks about right. Okay, cool. Let's do 60. Cool. And then let's set the top to be zero. And then that'll look good. Okay, now here's the next question. Do we want to have a tile map? Or do we want our world to be infinite? Probably a tile map's good. Let's do a tile map. But instead of doing a regular tile map, um, I'm going to bring in the extension. So then if we ever want to like expand it, then we could probably do some tile map shenanigans. So tile maps. Mm, set current tile map to be a tile map. This can't be dragged out, right? Oh, it can be dragged out. Okay, then we'll do that. And then we'll make it taller. 30. And then let's put a tile to say, like, this is where the sub starts. S for a sub. Put it at the top. And then... 
Okay, and then we'll have the diver have their V. Should it be V Y or should it be acceleration? Maybe acceleration to be five hundred. Is that gonna be weird though? Is that just gonna send us down too fast? Maybe it should be V Y. V Y to be like thirty, and then we'll have the camera follow them. Camera follow the diver. Do you guys know facts about the ocean? <laughs> Please tell me. Okay, now let's do the moving with buttons. Moving the diver with buttons. VX. Everything is slower in the ocean. Mm. Okay, and then sh how how should we make them keep on falling if... Maybe we change this to zero and then we'll just push a button to be like, reel me in. <laughs> I don't know how divers work. Okay. And then, oh yeah, that'd be super easy because then we could do like on A button press. Let's just throw in our temporary sub for now just so we have something to to do. We'll rename this. To be submarine, and then we'll make a new kind submarine. Do you guys know songs about submarines? I know one song. <laughs> um, cola canth. What does that mean, Lucas? If diving, then we'll have. The player follow. Mm. Where's the follow? Follow here. We'll have the diver follow the submarine. And then we can have them inside the submarine map. That would look so cool. It's a cool long fish. Ooh. Cool. Joy, please participate in chat like you are. <laughs> it helps a lot. My spacebar doesn't click very nice. Okay, now let's, okay, so I'm thinking in the submarine, we could either take, like show the pictures that we've taken of the animals or like have something else to like show your collection of the animals you've spotted so far. Um, Let's actually first, let's do an array of images for creatures, new variable creature images, and then we will do like creation stuff later. Um, it's great when you catch them in Animal Crossing, it's like twice as long as the player. Oh, Helicorprion. If you caught one before, it will say blast from the past. That's so funny. What the heck? The tooth whirl measured 18 inches. It's a big fish. Dang. Um, I won't make that fish. I'll just make a, a like a clownfish for now. I'm expecting cool art from you guys. But also, if you don't want to make art and you want to help with um, chat or code, please let me know and I'll make more art myself. Or I could bring in the art from Catch Some Fish. That is also an option. <laughs> Hi, Richard! <laughs> Oh my gosh. We're making a diving game today. Which was not neither one, neither one of my two plans, but you know, you got to follow the passions of chat. <laughs> Richard, why are you watching streams? Are you working? Are you being productive? Okay, good. Don't let us distract you. I I feel like, you know, like one of those parents be like, go back into your homework. <laughs> um, okay, so we'll have a function that's like, mm, put fish in the sea for the first time. Because we only want to do this once. And I'm thinking maybe if we have like an inside submarine view, we might have to destroy all the fish. Or we can hide them. But we might want to change the town map. We'll decide later. But for now, for future proofing, we're going to call this function. 
And then, hmm, do we want to have a rarity of fish? Hmm, hmm, I don't know. We'll just put at least one of each fish in here, though, um, for index. And then we'll do, like, arrays, get length of this one, minus one, minus one, put her in there. No, it is a fact. What is a fact, Lucas? Tell me. <laughs> I'm I'm reading about half the chat messages today. Um, but I should re probably be reading more. Fish. And then we'll rename this kind or we'll make a new variable that's like new new fish. And then we'll place them on a random tile. Mm. Here. Place new fish on top of random this one also this is the number one and not the image one so we gotta use the array get value at index and then we'll put this in here and then the array is creature images creature images cool <laughs> all right so let's see if we can find any fish there should be okay there's one there should only be two oh there's two cool oh we should have we should have like the bends right isn't that a thing if you like rise too quickly then like your your balance is messed up so you're always bending <laughs> um we'll do that later we got to do some basic some basic things first. So let's have a, a fish meter. This is what I've decided we're gonna do. We're going to make this new fish, make a new sprite. Um, it's gonna be kind meter, and it's going to tell us how close we are to something new, a scientific breakthrough. What color should the fish meter be? Something cool like this. And this will be like maybe our tool to like read in the new fish, right? We use it to scan the fish. It'll import it into our submarine's computer. What color is the ocean? It's black right now. Cause I feel like deep ocean, right? No light can get down there. Is that okay? And to make the fish meter work, we'll make mm, three three lights. These will be lights, and then we'll change the colors depending on how close we are to a fish, I think. Let's give it some nice shading like this so it's a three-dimensional tool. You know you can use it. Should we make it a meter or like a knob? Let's. We have to give it like an antenna for sure. And then this here and then something should be here should it be a screen or a dial hmm that's cute for now and then oh yeah so what we're going to do is we're going to have these colors are each led be a different color so then we can like replace it okay and then um hmm we'll set this to be at the top Lantern extension. Ooh, actually, that's a good idea. I'll bring it in. Um, do you guys remember the name of the extension? Unsigned Arduino. <laughs> awesome arcade. Lantern. PXC lantern. This one. It's not a quarter opportunity. I looked it up. Felix. Two. I'll just copy and paste no mistakes <laughs> no quarters lantern <laughs> you use yours richard why why is yours better lantern what's yours called arcade shader oh mm. Mm, Richard. Oh, 
Rick Knoll PXT Lantern. It's not an unsigned Arduino's catalog <laughs> of extensions. PXT. If this is wrong, you you're swallowing the quarter. Why doesn't it matter? I'll bring them both. <laughs> oh. This is confusing. Mm. It's too late, Richard. I already did it. Sorry, Felix. Oh. It's not an advanced <laughs> extension anymore. Okay. So start lantern effect. Set breathing enabled. Set lantern bandwidth. How do I put the lantern? Oh, start probably on this one, right? Start lantern effect on the diver. Let's see if that's right. Lucas, you messaged me. Oh, you sent me an art. Thank you. Open link a new tab. This is really the the, the heart and soul of the game, right? Is the art. <gasps> is this the shark we're trying to avoid? Wait, is this the fish you've been talking about? <laughs> if so, I'm going to put in a new sprite. Helicoprion. Hel helicopter scorpion. 60 by 20. Look at it. This is the 18 inch teeth. <laughs> oh, it's working. You have a black background. Understandable. And then we have some art from Gideon. Makeco.com slash art. <laughs> um, edit code. Ooh, our submarine. One thirty by seventy. I like it. It's truly a beacon of hope in this dark ocean. Okay, the helicoprion's teeth spirals like a shell. That's in intense. <laughs> That's intense. Um, okay, so what are we going to do next? We're going to set the background color of the ocean to be dark blue so we can actually see the lantern effect and then we're going to set oh cool <laughs> this is super cool oh there's some weird lines over here that's okay and then we're going to put this one in and it's going to be kind enemy and we're going to name it the right name so we're learning things today and it's going to be Helicoprion. It has stream in the window of the sub. Wait, really? Is that stream today? Oh, that's so cute. Is that me? I love it. Um, okay. Now, what are we doing? Oh, yes. We're going to deal with the fish meter. Because right now, it's, 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 not, it's not anything. Because it's not sticking to the screen. So we're going to set a flag on it. Um, that is relative to camera, true, fish meter. We're going to position it at the top. So set fish meter left to be, and then, hmm, let's put it, let's position it relative to the oxygen status bar. So we'll bring that down here and we'll get the right part of the oxygen status. And then we'll set the top to be the top of the screen. So that'll be zero. Top, zero. Let's see it. Our beautiful. Is it not working because um, it's getting blocked by the shader? Let's remove the shader first and see what it looks like without. Um, 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 um. Well, actually, let's put it in a debug variable, right? This way we can always turn it off easily. Debug. And we'll put it at the top. This is truly going to be our masterpiece. So we got to code it nicely, nicely in one go. OK, so if not debugging, then we want to show the lantern effect. Not debug, start lantern effect. OK, so in this one, should turn it off. OK. So we can see at the top. So. I'm concerned about <laughs> lan why does status bar work and not lantern effect? Is it because of the order of the things? Let's put it at the bottom. Put it at the bottom. 
turn debug off maybe since now this is stuck to the screen it'll be okay hmm hmm not clear to me why debug true okay fish meter is definitely stuck to the screen yes is it because of the color is it too dark on the fish meter can you set z index to 150 on the other thing oh okay that's a good idea joey um fish meter z to be 150 the index on lantern is less than 100. Oh, okay, cool. Let's turn debug false. Yay! <laughs> cool. Okay. So let's do an on game. Let's make the fish meter work. So, hmm. How should we keep track of which fish we have seen so far? Let's just make a make an array of fish we've seen. Hmm lists oops that was a secret forever hiding there array list and let's make this variable fish we have seen and then let's make it an empty array and then let's loop over all the fish images and then add a false in for all of them um mm, set value add value to the end of fish we have seen and then we are going to add false to it okay now we are going to go into an on game update and we are going to hmm, we're just going to set update we're gonna have another function it's gonna be update fish meter and then we're going to have a number. How many LEDs on? We're going to call it right away. Um, update fish, fish meter. And so we will do a new image. Hmm. <laughs> okay, here we go. And then set the image of the fish meter to be this. And then, hmm, 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 hmm. Did I make these sequential numbers? Yellow or sequential colors? Yes. Okay. So yellow's color is five. <laughs> so we could do like a we could do something fancy. We could be like while <laughs> how many LEDs on is greater than zero? We set the color. In the image nope not this one set color where is it change color from and then we do a plus and we do it five which is our first color and then we'll do a, hmm. well, well, okay let's do a for loop instead because we need a number so zero to this minus one let's get out of minus how many LEDs on minus one and then we'll add here and then we'll change the color to be white and then afterwards we're going to oh it's not happy change color and fish meters image okay and then we're also going to do a repeat no, we're not going to do a repeat. We're just going. We're just going to put in. <laughs> we're just going to put in the, the colors, um, from yellow. To what's an off LED color? Pink. <laughs> and then we'll do it for the next color, which is teal, and the next color, which is green. Let's see. We should see one LED on. Can we tell that this is on and these are off? Does that look like what you would expect? What should be the off color? So let's make a variable. Off LED color. And then 
AB off is purple. 15, 14, 13, 12. 12. Do you guys miss everybody's voice? Okay, that's one LED on. And then let's put on other LEDs. So let's test it with zero. Awesome, let's test it with two. Cool, three. Cool, that works. Is that a very good interface? Who knows? Mm. What if we make it green instead? That'll fix everything. Green LEDs are the best. Ooh. Oh, nope, that won't work because green is one of our colors. Mm, we'll stick with red. What about red? <laughs> that look good. I feel like these are small potatoes. Um, that's good enough. Okay, so now let's make another function, and then we'll be like, how close is the nearest new fish? <laughs> um, and this will return a number in pixels, perhaps, on how close is the nearest new fish. Um, I'm trying to think, should we bring in the sprite data or should we, let's actually just loop over all the things first. Or wait, in sprite utils, is there like a function that's, oh, I just imported a random, extent. I don't, I didn't want that. In sprite utils, there might be like something that's like, get all sprites of kind, something that's near me. Arcade sprite util, which would limit at least the number of fish we're looking at any time but I feel like that might also get all the sprites anyway so it might not be useful get all sprites of kind fish within 50 pixels of diver let's instead of doing 50 let's do like 200 so there's some off screen it could be bigger we'll decide later and then for mm, nope for element of list Oh, did I call this yet? Let's call this. Let's just put the function. Okay, let's just return something first. And then we'll, then we can put it in here. <laughs> then it's not a quarter. Okay. So let's see. This is going to be like a hot, hotter, colder, not marker, not Marco Polo situation. Okay. So for, uh, we have to decide if we've seen it or not. So we can get. Um, the index that the image is and then <laughs> oh yeah we're going to use a sprite image get the image of the value we're going to find this in the list of creature images so that is the num like the index that the fish is at and then we're going to check in our um, array of fish we have seen to do this and this will tell us if we've seen this fish before or not maybe no get value at yes wait find index of this yeah maybe if the images work out nicely and they should because we didn't clone them <laughs> um okay the fish we haven't seen get value at this and then we'll make a new array and it's gonna be new list of possible fish to beep at and so we'll say if um, this is true you know if it's false because we don't want to have seen the fish before we'll add this fish to the end of this array add value to the end of list of fish to be bat and then we're going to go over all the fish to be bat and find the one that's closest to us and then return that number so we give you like kind of a fighting chance um for element of list of possible fish to be bat <laughs> oh let's make a new variable closest 
fish distance. And we're going to set that to be a really large number. So like, oh, that's cool. Um, and then we're going to say if, oh, may, well, we can do this. We can use the math button, uh, min of closest fish distance and the distance between us and this other fish. Dist ah, excellent. Diver and list of possible fish to beep at and we'll set closest fish distance to be this and then we'll return this and then also let's make another variable that's like mm, meter fish detection range and then we'll put this maybe here and we'll set the fish detection range to be 200 and then we'll pop this in over here. And we're doing this because over here, we're gonna use a map block. So we'll do a map, this value from low. So low is zero and then the high is going to be fish detection range. Wait, is this correct? The closer you are, um, Okay, maybe it's backwards. So this one, the closer you are, the more LEDs you want. So we'll do this. This might be confusing. Okay, we're close to no fish right now. Let's see if we can get close to some fish <laughs> and have some LEDs. Oh, oh, an LED turned on. We're getting closer to a fish. Wait, okay. That's pretty good. We just need to have it so that when we're on the fish close to zero, it maps to having three LDs on. So let's just test that again. Mm -hmm. Do you guys know any sea shanties about finding fish? <laughs> wow, there's no fish today. Okay, wait, going right gets me closer to a fish. Oh, oh, excellent. This should be... That never turned on to three LEDs. Should we just map it to four? <laughs> Let's just map it to four and see if that's good enough. No need to be perfect. Just good enough. One, two. Oh, where's the fish? Okay, we should turn on debug control so that if it's debugging, then we can just move the... Oh, yes, excellent. Wait, that's perfect. <laughs> No need to mess with that anymore. This is a, the very real megalodon. It will kill you. Wait, Lucas, was your other fish the helicopter scorpion? Was it not supposed to be the enemy fish? This is a big fish. <laughs> the megalodon. Um, hmm. Okay. Um, how much time do we have? Wait, 20 minutes. Okay. So in the meantime, let's put in the debug. Um, if debugging, so then we want to be able to move this, move the diver freely. So we'll put this here, move you guys out, and then else, put this in here, and then there we go. Oh, it's extinct. Ooh, that'd be the rarest fish to find. Wait, Megalodon is real, not extinct. Oh, the other one's extinct, but it's in an Animal Crossing? Shouldn't it be a fossil then? <laughs> okay. Um, and okay, so now we need to have a situation where we can capture the fish's data and scan it. Um, oh, the Megalodon is rare, rarely seen. I see. Ooh, it'd be nice if we could include like rarities of the different fish, but we gotta we gotta do the big potatoes first. So A is already reeling us back into the submarine. Um, maybe instead of A reeling us all the way back in, it could be like reel us in a little bit, and then we could sink, and then reel us in a little bit, and that's the way we can control how quickly we go up, which controls not if we suffer from bends later. Um, okay, no, let's do the let's do the scanning fish first on b button pressed 
um hmm, how do we determine which fish we scan in sprite utils is there hmm, hmm, oh maybe after we scan the fish we change its kind right that'd be kind of good since we only have one of each one so far um get all sprites of kind fish within 40 pixels of the diver and then let's get joey is this this is ordered in like closest to furthest right i think it is get value at zero let's set this to be a variable fish we are scanning it'd be cool if we had like a scanning effect too it should be, I think. Cool. It has been proven real and not extinct, but there has been sharks bigger than the maximum recorded on camera. So people have seen it with their eyes. Is this fish like the Yeti of fish? So it has to be real. Interesting. I'm scared of the ocean. <laughs> that's wild. Um, Let's make a function that's like, get index of this fish get index of this fish and it'll take in a sprite fish and then we will return this this way we just don't have to write it many times because i think we'll use it more than once put you in here and then we'll call the function no quarters <laughs> uh here and we'll put in the value here should be i think oh that's joey <laughs> um okay so here no please let me go up scan the fish okay um hmm maybe we just let the player always control its direction but maybe the y direction is slower I don't know. The controls just feel weird. It feels very difficult to get on the fish. Okay. So then when we push the B button, what are we going to do? So on B button press, fish we are scanning. We'll get the index of this fish and we'll set it to be true in our thing mm, set value at okay here we go set value at and we'll call our function get index of this fish which fish it's the fish we are scanning fish we are scanning to be true oh okay let's have like a green line that goes over the fish and that's <laughs> ind indicating that we are scanning it and then we're going to be, what is this? Fish we have seen. And then let's make a new sprite. That's like the scan, new variable scan mm, sprite. And we can make it look cooler, but we only have 15 minutes now. So we should get do something first. Scan. So let's make it one wide and then mm, nine tall. Doesn't really matter. Put this here and then put it on the left of the fish set scan sprite scan sprite scan sprites x to be the left of the fish we are scanning Okay, what if we just give it velocity and our on a game update if it's not overlapping with a fish, we destroy it. I feel like that's a, a nice hacky way to do it. Scan this fish, please. Please. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Let's start over. I don't know if we actually scanned it or not. Maybe, maybe we should do like a text also that says like scan complete. That'd be cute. Ah, oh, there's a fish here. 
Oh, okay. So then we pushed the B button. The dots went away because we scanned it. It just didn't see the scan sprite. There was a bug. Okay, so to fix that, let's set the scan sprites Z. No, not X. Z to be a bajillion. Let's set its VY. Nope, VX. Yeah, VX to be not a bajillion, maybe like 10. And then in our on game update, wait, did I not need that map block? Did I drag that out accidentally? That seems suspicious. Update fish meter, fish we are scanning left. Oh, wait, something weird just happened. Did you guys see what I just did? I don't know what I just did. <laughs> Wait, that fish is a living fossil? That's insane. Is it is the issue that my scan line is green and this fish is green? That is that what's happening? Mm, oh, I never set the Y of it. <laughs> it's just that it's just chilling with the sub. Um, and it's going to be the fish we are scanning's Y. That was silly. Okay, scan. We're going to scan a fish that's not. Oh, wait, I should be using my LEDs to help me. Getting close. Nope, getting further, getting closer. Where is this fish? Fish. Oh, guys, this, this is an impossible game. I'm going to die from no oxygen. Oh, two two LEDs? That's promising. Oh, here we go. You can tell from the the cheating hedge. Okay, here. Scan. Ah uh, yes, look at that scan line. Excellent. <laughs> scan, send the scan off to the ocean. Cool. So now let's just do our on game update. And then if it's <laughs> never touching a fish, then we will destroy it. So for element of Hmm. Actually, we'll just see if it exists. If it's not destroyed, not destroyed. And what's the name of it? Something to do with the scan. Scan sprite. That's a good name. Um. Then we will also see if. Whoa. Hi, Vivian. Oh, Richard's here. Okay, wait. Let me bring Richard in. Ray, Richard, thanks for joining. You can I come. promised Pet Auto's on stream today. Aww. So here he is. Hi, Otto. Wait, where, when did you promise that? Yesterday? Yesterday. Oh, Unsigned Arduino asked me to. Unsigned Arduino's not here today. Oh, no. Sad. You'll just have to pet Otto every day on stream. I guess so. <laughs> Cat cute. <laughs> um, Cat is cute. <laughs> oh, I'm not sharing my screen. I'm sorry. Do you want me to share it? I can see the stream. Okay, cool. Um, what am I doing? I forgot. If oh yeah, if it's overlapping. Game's pretty cool, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> Um, do you think this will, okay, if this exists, then it means this exists. So I'm going to just trust. <laughs> Scan spray. Wait, have you been productive? Yeah, I've been productive. Wow, what have you been up to? You know, fixing bugs. Wow. Are they all squashed? Um, one is still resisting squashing. Hmm. Get some new but boots. I think, I think it's about done. Yay. Wait, am I scanning the wrong fish? Is wait, sorry, is that why this isn't working? It worked once. Wait, is this the? Oh, this is the fish it wants me to. It worked once. Okay, here's the fish. Why do we only see this fish? That might be weird. Um, I guess the clownfish is much smaller. Scan, please. Hmm. 
It should let itself be squashed. Yeah, agreed. Agreed. Yeah. What's your What's your favorite kind of bug, Richard? Uh, hmm. That's a hard question. Praying mantises are cool. Caterpillars. I like caterpillars. Why? They're cool. And they have a bunch of little feet. Um, they're fuzzy. They turn into butterflies. Mm. They're just great. Where are the mo- Where- could this be that block that you dragged out and got confused by where the map block was dragged out for a second? Okay. Wait. So update fish meter. Call how close. Oh, wait. Is it because the scan sprite? Fish we are scanning left. Why? Hmm. 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 Map block was dragged out for a second. Wait. Was I using map for something else? I don't know, Richard. It's super weird on having everybody talk on stream. Yeah, sorry we all uh, had stuff to do today. It won't happen again, Vivian. No, it's it's okay. I've had chat and Joey and you in the chat. Um, Ouch. I was biting me, my oh. hand. But don't, don't owe that. Shouldn't be doing that. <laughs> Should not be doing that. Okay. <laughs> the issue is if it overlaps, then we destroy. We want to do the not of this. That was obvious. <laughs> if we're not overlapping. But won't that be broken if the fish doesn't fit to the frame and there's like transparent pixels on the side? Maybe I should just use the timer's extension. It is a top tier extension. Yeah. Ooh, we should Wait, do. Mm -hmm. So, is it your goal in this game just to see the fish or to like grab the fish? No, we're gonna scan them and get data about them. We don't want to nice. take them out. Yeah. Of All right, you have to get them out. You have to get on my lap now. I want to see Otto. Sorry, he's gotta get on my lap because he was biting my hand. I broke it. <laughs> okay, you know what? This is too hard. Let's just use the timer's extension. <laughs> Um, let's get rid of all of this code. Get out of here. Bring in the extensions and the timers. On the map block, it looked like the max was zero there. Is that intended? It is intended because max means we're if we're zero, then we're the closest to the fish. So we want all the LEDs on. Very intended. Um, so after whatever, 500 then we will um maybe after one second we will destroy the scan sprite and then we'll have the text text say scan complete so vivian did you look at a picture of this heliocorpion i didn't is it crazy i mean i saw the it one lucas drew crazy yeah, I mean, it's pretty similar to that. It's just got a giant tooth wheel at the bottom of its mouth. It's like normal shark, and then it's got this tooth wheel. <laughs> Crazy. Tooth wheel, like it has gears? Or just like... It kind of looks like that. It looks like it has like some sort of saw or something on its on, on its mouth. Um, that's just like its bottom jaw. Um, it's crazy. That's insane. I don't know if I've ever seen a more terrifying fish. <laughs> Um, got a question from Lucas. Can you make sprites go behind the tile map? Yes, you can. Um, the tile map Z index is negative one, I want to say. So anything below negative one. Oh, that's cool. Mm. Completed. And then after another second, we'll destroy it. <laughs> is that in sprite utils? Destroy. No, it's in the tile maps extension. Destroy all sprites of kind text. I needed to know that a long time ago. Mm. I probably should. Is this text sprite relative to the screen?
Uh, tech sprites aren't relative to the screen by default. You have to make them relative to the screen. Ah, I see. Okay, well, let's figure out A button's press pressed, then if diving, then set diver, follow submarine. You're mad at me because there's no submarine? There's no diver. Why is that? Why is this an angry situation? I don't get it. Wait, let me see. Hmm. So you're getting an exception? I was, but not anymore. Ooh. Get index of this fish. Oh, okay. So we have to see if there's a fish nearby us first. Let's do that. Maybe that's the issue. I did push the B button before. Um, so if let's do this. If fish we are scanning is an actual fish. <laughs> I guess I never considered that people might spam the scan. Cool. Excellent. Okay, also we are trapped on the submarine. <laughs> Let's scan this clownfish. Scan. Oh, yes, cute. I did did you see any text complete? Oh, I need to set the Z index. This lantern extension is really messing me up. Sorry. Did not expect this. Check. Made it a really long time ago. Really? What what's the difference between yours and the other one? Uh, the one Felix made took mine and made it do multiple light sources. Ooh. Yeah, which is a pretty cool idea. But the, the only thing is that um, it ends up being much slower because there's a lot more math you have to do. I tried to do it several times and I couldn't figure out how to do it fast either. I see. So it's kind of um, it's kind of tough to do multiple light sources fast. Well, well, because you basically you have to merge them is the thing you know. Mm -hmm. It's tough. You have to merge them. Yeah, because oh, I like, see. yeah, because when they overlap, you don't want them to add together. You want them to merge instead of that. So you can't just like draw draw the image. Mm. Yeah. I see. I see. Well, I'm I'm glad I'm glad we're using the fast one today. Um. Okay. So if we're doing this, we'll set the text sprite's position to be in the center of the screen because we have two minutes and we're just going to do some some quick things to make this a bit more like a like a game situation so on some quick, a quick game situation yes on is this health kind i don't remember making the status bar it was so long ago what is it health okay on kind health equals zero then we're gonna do game over lose i guess and we'll do another one where we're like spread utils um we didn't even do the do the avoiding the big fish otherwise you'll die situation player overlaps submarine then we're going to set the status bar value to be the max and what i call this it's going to be like breathe oxygen status that's right and then we're going to set this to be the max value Oxygen status max. Okay, cool. And then make should we make should we also do like a how can you tell that this this wait did I bring in the megalo 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 megalodon did I do that the megalodon you mean the mega mega shark thing or yeah wait because I think Lucas sent me art. Oh, yeah, you I know, didn't bring it in. That's all bonds are cool, but it's kind of boring when you just think that they're basically just a great white shark, but really big, you know? I like I like my I like my fossils to be more fanciful. Wow, Richard. It can... Hey, Megal they're still cool. Uh-huh. What kind of fossil do you like better? I mean, like that, that, he that, that. Oh, uh, I see. What, what was it called? The, the Helio Kiron was pretty cool. That one's extinct. I think the megalodon is also extinct. Wait, no, I th one of these is not extinct, but it's a living fossil. Uh, the koala can't. Koala can't. Hmm. I don't know how you pronounce it. The koala scorpion. 
Yep, the claw scorpion. Yep, yep. Okay, so we're not making any of these fish enemies anymore. They're all they're all things that we want to research um, in the name of science. Instead, we found a clownfish. <laughs> yeah, so the Qualacanth was uh, thought to be, become extinct 66 million years ago, but they were found in 1938 in South Africa. Oh. Okay, so. And fun fact, I know what a Qualacanth is, not because of Animal Crossing, but because there is a Pokemon based off of it called Regicanth. Oh, it's right. called Koalacanth? <laughs> huh? It's co- I mean, it's like C-O-E-L-A-C-A-N- Th. Ah, oh, like I see. Um, how do I make something unfollow something? Um, I'm now finding out that it's it's pronounced coelacanth. Oh. Um, set the follow speed to zero, okay. or you just have to follow something and just drag out the block so it's following nothing. I can do this. Yep. Okay. Cool. Beca okay, so let's see if we can reel back into the submarine. Oops. Okay. Cool. We can scan this new one. Cool. And then we go back in. Awesome. And then, oh, it's 202. My goodness. Well, you know how the time flies, right? Right, chat? Um, yeah, I played a tutorial about that. Oh, yeah. Time flies. It's true. So it's fact. But anyway, thanks for the art and submarine. Um, and, and hanging out with us today. So hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll share this game right away. My name is Vivian. I'm at Live Cheerful on the Make Code Forums. Um, I'm Richard at Richard on the Make Code Forums. And as always, my cat is Auto AutoZone, who is not old enough to be on the forums. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey, should we do a forum? Forum stream tomorrow? Yeah, let's do it. I like. I think everyone had fun last week. So Forum Fridays. Then we can also, you know help out on the forums it's a good public service situation okay so forum fun fridays featured for tomorrow <laughs> yeah let us let us know if there's anything you want us to look at especially yeah okay see you then bye